who hails from Chuka Town, Tarakanithi County, is said to be a member of a notorious gang. Mwenda, who was found hiding in a hotel in Chuka Town, has been conning the residents of Chuka and Embu regions. The police have advised Kenyans to be vigilant when dealing with money as fake currency is rampant in the market. The search for the other gang members is ongoing. Traders in Isiolo County have lost property worth millions after a fire raised down five business premises. According to the traders, fire broke out minutes past midnight and the efforts to put out the fire were futile. As the inferno spread fast, the county firefighting team is said to have delayed is said to have delayed citing lack of water and a driver. It is suspected that the fire was caused by an electric fault, though the police are yet to issue an official statement. The Uganda Electoral Commission has declared Yoweri Museveni as the winner of the 2021 presidential elections. Museveni garnered 5.85 million votes, which is 5.6% of the total votes. The main opposition candidate, Robert Chagulani, also known as Bobby Wine, secured the total of 3.48 million votes, which is 34.8%. According to the Electoral Commission, the voter turnout was 52%. Since Thursday, which was the voting day, accusations have been raised by opposition of electoral irregularities like ballot staffing, intimidation of polling agents, and shutting down the internet, which disrupted the electoral monitoring. In other news, President-elect Joe Biden plans to flip the script on matters concerning policies. According to the incoming Chief of Staff Ron Klain's memo, Biden is set to rejoin the Paris Climate Accord and travel ban on predominantly Muslim countries, order halting evictions and student loan payments during the coronavirus pandemic. These changes are among the executive orders Biden plans to sign in the first day in office. If passed by Congress, Biden also plans a $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief package. This has been Trending News. My name is Bethel Magina.